Hi everyone, welcome to Start a School Crochet, it's Tasha. Today's tutorial, we're gonna work through the front post double crochet stitch. And the front post double crochet stitch is a great stitch. You can do cables with it. You can do any kind of pattern you want on a garment or a scarf or to create crochet cables. So I think you'll enjoy this tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell button. Foundation single crochet any number of stitches or chain 11 and single crochet in the second chain from the hook and across for 10 single crochet. Pause the video if you need to. The double crochet stitch is your base is one of the basic stitches, but you can change your double crochet and stitch placement to create beautiful cable stitches. I'm going to show you how to do a front post double crochet. I'm going to start by chaining one, turning and I'm gonna work a few single crochet stitches across and then do a front post double crochet around a single crochet from below. And this is normally how you do cable stitches. So I wanna drop down and I'm going to work directly below the next stitch. So I'm gonna follow my stitch down and I want to work into the stitch that that's attached to. So I have one, two, three, and I'm working on the fourth stitch so that's one, two, three, and I'm going to go straight down and work around the post of the stitch. So I insert my hook into the right side of the stitch and I poke it out of the left side of the stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'll have three loops on my hook and I'm going to complete a double crochet just like I normally would. The front post double crochet stitches are all about stitch placement and not changing how you work the actual stitch. So you yarn over first, insert your hook to the right of the post of the stitch, come out the other side of the stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you repeat that across for however many stitches that your pattern recalls for. Cable patterns usually work in clusters of three or two and sometimes even one, and then they cross over, but you don't, have to use this just for cables. There are so many applications that you can use the front post double crochet for. So traditionally you skip the stitches that are behind and the, the post stitches that you created. So you wouldn't go back and work into those stitches. You'll skip them and then just continue crocheting as you normally would down the line. And I'm going to work single crochet stitches to close out the row and then work another row of single crochets and then go back and show you how it, to work a front post stitch around another front post stitch. So I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to do a row of single crochet normally when you do cable stitches you're doing a row of single crochet in between each of the front post stitches because you want to give a it's kind of like a base where it gives a flat base behind those raised stitches and it just makes the cable stitches look a whole lot better you can do double crochets and work the base as a double crochet instead of a single crochet and it and it gives a similar effect but the single crochet gives a more solid base so I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn it and you can see these are our front post stitches right here they're a little bit raised up from the rest I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch leading up to those cable stitches if you want to find out where you want to lead up to, you go one, two, three, four, you follow it on up. So I have one more. And now I'm going to work a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the row, two rows down, or one, two rows down. So yarn over like you normally would, insert your hook around the post of the double crochet that you just created and then complete a double crochet like you normally would. So you're gonna go down, work around it, pull up, work around the post of the stitch, So 
So there I have four front post double crochet stitches. And I'm going to show you behind what I'm talking about. It creates a little bit of a ridge. There's ways that you can modify that ridge. Some people actually like to anchor it by working into um, another part of the stitch. But for now, you're going to skip the stitches behind there. So I created four front post double crochets. So I'm going to skip four stitches behind there. It might not seem even all the time. One, two, three, four. It feels a little bit off. But don't worry about that. Just go into your next stitch. And there you've created your front post double crochet stitches. I'll show you a trick on how to anchor those if you want to anchor it and not have the big puffy thing on the back. So while you're going around, a lot of people anchor it by slip stitching into there. So you can yarn over, go around your post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, or yarn over and pull through two loops. And then some people go through this stitch here with your yarn on top, yarn over and complete the last stitch. And then it anchors your post stitches without creating an extra stitch, which is great. Oh, so let's do that again. Yarn over, go around your post, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Before you complete it, make sure your yarn is on top of your hook. Go through that stitch that's behind it, like that, and then yarn over for your last yarn over and just slip stitch through. And then that creates a flat back to your project. That's a slight, a little trick to make it less bulky. I'm going to complete these. But it does take a little extra step and it takes a little getting used to. Like that. See, no flap. And there's your front post double crochet stitch. Thanks guys, happy crocheting. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel and thanks for being here. Happy crocheting.